gleaming and the gamblers are a dreaming. Oh, it's nightlife, nightlife. Howdy, I'm Joel from FSA. I'm the brake product manager, and I'd like to show you the two new products we're introducing here at Interbike this year. Starting with the top of the line cross country race brake. This is our K Force disc brake, hydraulic disc brake system. Brand new. Uh, this is our entry into the disc brake market, and the K Force is our pinnacle. What we'll start with here is we shot a magnesium master cylinder body. We've got the carbon lever blade. And this is a fully featured hydraulic disc brake, meaning it's got tool-free stroke adjust to change your lever throw. It's also got tool-free reach adjust, so you can set your lever home position closer or further away from the handlebar. It's a two-piece clamp, and this guy's the same on either side, so it can be mounted left or right hand depending on how you run your brakes. Moving down to the caliper end, we've got a one-piece monoblock forged caliper. So this guy, again, is all about lightweight and stiffness. It's got a big, thick arch on the back here to manage all the power this brake's putting down. It's got an adjustable hose routing so that you can flow the hose into the fork or the chain stays. Top loading pads here. Our pads have aluminum backing plates. Again, it's all about weight. So we're cutting about 10 grams over a steel backing plate just by running the aluminum back there. Down at the rotor end, doing the business down here is a two-piece rotor. Basically what you two-piece rotor is, you've got an aluminum center section here, or carrier, that makes up the majority of the structure in the rotor. It's very lightweight and very stiff, and we're still running a stainless steel outer rub ring, or contact area where the pads squeeze. And this is where you're gonna generate heat, and then using the steel, you're able to dissipate heat and manage that heat as well. This guy's coming in at 305 grams, fully featured with a 160 millimeter rotor. That's a super competitive cross-country race weight. It's going to MSRP at $369 per wheel. Backing it up, we've got the afterburner platform. Again, following right into the existing platforms in FSA's product structure. Afterburner is a trail application. Again, fully featured. It's the same identical master cylinder design, but instead of magnesium up here for weight, we're shooting it at aluminum and we back it up with an aluminum, a forged aluminum lever blade instead of the carbon fiber. This is just a more durable package that's gonna crash a little bit better in the trail application. I hate to say that, but it's true. Again, getting down to the caliper, we've got now the same one-piece monoblock, but we've got a steel backing plate here. And down here at the rotor, we've got a one-piece steel rotor. And as you can see, there's a lot more thermal mass in this rotor for that trail application where you're descending more. You're generating a lot more heat, and so by leaving more material in here, yes, you do pick up weight, but you're able to manage the heat, absorb the heat, and dissipate it better than with the less material. Both brakes feature a unique and brand new internal design that is developed by FSA in our US Seattle office. So this is our design. We've been working on it for three years a lot of time and investment in this and the main idea here is we wanted something extremely narrow short and compact so that we can package this brake in a lightweight shifter friendly lever friendly configuration so we know the cockpits are getting full we wanted a very small brake and this master cylinder design allowed us to have everything we need in a very small package running down here to the caliper you can see as well fluid comes in from the hose dual piston system that we've talked about here. The fluid comes behind the caliper pistons and squeezes on the rotor. That's where you get your clamp force. Can you demonstrate that? Uh, right now this system is not bled. We use these systems primarily to de develop our bleed process and our bleed path. It's extremely important, as you, some of you may know, that the brake has to bleed easily. So it bleeds traditionally with a dual syringe system like a lot of the existing systems. Uh, but what we use these clear models to do is show us where the air bubbles want to hang out or get trapped essentially so that we can improve the flow path. And so on this break, what we actually ended up doing is adding a bleed port to just one side here. And you can see this is the highest point on the system. So right now this is upside down. But if we flip this over, 
and we rotate this guy over, the bleed port now, this reservoir is asymmetrical, meaning it's the highest point in this brake system. So when you push fluid from the caliper, up the hose, into the master cylinder bore, and out into the other syringe, this is gonna be the highest point, and that's where the air is gonna to wanna to go. So these brakes are going to be available in the first quarter of 2014. And again, MSRPs, uh, $369 for the K-Force, $289 for the trail uh, afterburner system. And uh, thanks for listening.